Hello, crafty friends. I hope you're doing well. Today, I want to share this different, bit of a different take on a Valentine's card with you. I used the adorable little squirrels from Lawn Fawn and some warm toned shades, but lots of hearts and goodies to make it like a Valentine. I stamped all of my images onto Transotype Perfect Coloring Paper. And for my squirrels, I'm using E18, blending that out with E15, then E13 and E11. The accessories uh, I stamped are from the Send With Love add-on. And also the mail is from, uh, or the letters, are from Special Delivery. And the Hugging Squirrels, as well as the Speech Bubble, is from uh, Happy Hugs, I think it's called. Uh, all from Lawn Farm. This is the E00, just to blend it out so that my squirrels don't end up being too orange. I'm using a little bit of R21 on the cheeks, just for a little bit of blush. And then again, blending that out with E00. That wasn't quite dark enough, so I went in with R22 instead of the R21. And I like that much better. For the letters, I'm just adding a little bit of shading with C1. I also added a little bit of the gray on the speech bubble. But I wanted a bit of a bluish tint instead. So I'm just going in with a little bit of BG70 and then blending that out with a colorless blender. Adding the C, uh, adding a little bit of shading with C, with C3, and then just blending that out with a blender. For the pink shades, um, or the reddish pink shades, I I first had a different idea of what I wanted the colors of the card to be, so I started out with traditional like pinks, but I didn't like how it combined with the like warm tone of the squirrels. So I colored them with the R80 markers and I love that color normally, but for the warm tone of the squirrels, I wanted something more rich and warm. So I just went over those colors with R29 just to actually turn the pink into a red. Doing the same on the bouquet of flowers and the little bow. These end up looking a little bit different because they don't have the like under layer of pink. But when you, if you don't know, you, you don't notice it. Uh, then blending the R29 out with R27. And R24. And R21. I'm actually bringing in the R22 because the R21 to the R24 is too big of a step. Especially on the large area of the heart, but for the rest it was fine. And it actually ended up being like a nice orangey warm red, but still fairly light. For the stems of the flowers, I'm using YG67 and YG61, just those two shades because it's a really tiny area. The paper around the flowers, I just used some C1 and blended that out with a blender. Then I realized I forgot to color the rest of the band around the bouquet. For the chocolate cake, I'm using E18, E15, and E13. That was too light, so I just added in a little bit of E49, just to give it a bit more depth. cupcake wrapper I just used some warm grays 
And I actually ended up going over the envelopes with a warm gray as well. Just, just to make the tones a little bit warmer. Just using the W5, 3, and 1. And blending that out with a W, double zero. Not sure why my camera is going out of focus there. I will still have to get used to it. So I'm sorry about that. Then I wanted to add some gel pen highlights. So I'm using my Arteza gel pen. I'm just adding some highlights around my images just for a little bit of extra shine. I'm always quite hesitant when it comes to like the gel pen details. I like how it looks, but after you spend all the, that time coloring, I'm really hesitant to essentially risk messing everything up. But I'm getting more confident with it and I really like how it looks. I used the uh, stitched sl uh, slimline dies, the largest of the of the stitched slimline from Lawn Farm, and I think it's the slimline with sliders. I think that's right. And I'm using shabby shutters, peeled paint, and mowed lawn, as well as the uh, simple grassy border. And I'm adding some mowed lawn splatters just for a bit of interest. I die cut a second panel for the background with the uh, same slimline die. And I'm ink blending that with squeezed lemonade, dried marigold, and abandoned coral. I had way too much ink on my brush, so I just quickly wiped it off. This card is actually my entry for the current Lawn Fanatics Challenge. I uh, the challenge is lots of hearts, so I wanted to create a um, more non-traditional Valentine's card, and I really like how it turned out. So I hope you do as well. I just blended the dried marigold and the squeezed lemonade back and forth, and then from the top, I'm adding a little bit of the abandoned coral just to bring in some of the red tones. I didn't want it to be too red or too orange. Just a little bit for some more definition. Going back in with the dried marigold just to smooth out the transition. And then I'm adding some splatters of dried marigold and abandoned coral, as well as some liquid stardust splatters for some more interest on the background. My camera actually cut out while I was splattering, so I just added the colors on the side again. I used the what is it called? The Hearts and Stars Skinny Tag Die. And I just used the hearts from that one just so that I could add lots of little hearts for the challenge. And I tried to match the Copic color I used for the red as best I could. So I just mixed festive berries with abandoned coral to get my orangey red shade. And then I used the Sending Big Hugs die. And I die cut it four times out of white cardstock. I left it whole three times and for one I just used a pair of scissors to cut out the letters for the word big because I wanted those to stand out. I'm ink blending those with the same colors that I used for the hearts, so abandoned coral and festive berries. I set this off to the side to dry for a little bit because I wanted to add some some glossy accents or some crystal glaze over top and I wanted the inks to be dry before I did that. Just adding a little bit more red at the bottom. I added those to uh, like a sticker paper backing sheet so that I would be able to remove them easily in case some of the crystal glaze uh, went over the letter. And then I'm just covering the entire letters with the Nouveau Crystal Glaze. Quite a generous layer. <laughs> and up top you can already see I have the Lawn Fawn Chunky Glitter. And I want to inlay some glitter into the glossy accents. 
I really like the way this looks. It just adds some really, really pretty sparkle. I went over the line there a bit, so I just used a pokey tool just to clean it up. And now I'm just sprinkling lots of little chunky glitter flakes into the wet crystal glaze. I set this off to dry on the side and I actually left it overnight because it was quite a thick layer and I didn't want to ruin it. So I just continued with this card the next day. I used my three layers of white die cuts and I stacked them on top of each other using liquid glue. Just making sure they line up nicely because I wanted the sentiment to be more of a die cut sentiment. And here's now my dry letters. And you can see how it's got this beautiful shine and sparkle. Now I'm just layering all the letters. And it really makes the middle part of the sentiment stand out a lot. And I really like that. And I layered all the parts of the, the dot of the eye. What is it called? The tittle, I think for the word sending and the word big. Now I'm just adding the ink blended layer. And here you can see the beautiful sparkle, even though it was a bit quick. I'm adding some tape runner to the back of my ink blended panel, and I'm adding that to a slimline card base. And the piece of cardstock I used was actually a little bit too short for a regular slimline card. So I just went with it and left the grassy piece a bit taller so that it would still work. Nobody's, nobody knows that it was a tiny bit short. Just making sure the edges line up nicely. And then I went ahead and placed my sentiment. I wanted to figure out the spacing of everything, so I just loosely placed all of my images onto the card. I added my images to the little wagon, just using some liquid glue, and I stacked them behind. A little bouquet of flowers, cupcake, and one of the Happy Mail letters. I had to bring in the little yay squirrel because he's just too cute not to use. I wasn't sure if I wanted to add the cupcake or the little happy mail letter into the speech bubble because I didn't want to add like a second sentiment. I also already have the like sending big hugs and I wanted that to stand out. So I just decided to go with a little happy mail letter. I just used some liquid glue to add the sentiment. I also added the like little dots of the eye, and then I was able to figure out the rest of the placement. I added the hugging squirrels up top with a speech bubble, the little squirrel that looks to the side just on the letter G, because I didn't want to cover up too much of the sparkle. At first I had him, because I like that guy with the speech bubble, but uh, the hugging squirrels were covering up too much of the letter G for my liking. <laughs> then I just added a little yay squirrel with a balloon. Added some foam squares to the back of the little squirrel that's pulling the wagon. And then adding the wagon with some foam squares as well. Now it's time to add lots of hearts. I already have some on the envelope and also on the balloon, but I wanted to add lots of hearts to the background as well. And I accidentally picked the heart up with the glue instead of the picker tool. So I had to use a new one. But I'm just adding down all the little hearts all over the background. Then I'm going in with some Stardust stickles and I'm going I actually forgot to glue that one down, which I realized when it stuck to the bottle. And then my glue wasn't working, and then there was way too much glue, so that went really, really smoothly, as you can see. 
So I just added the heart back down, went over with the glossy accents on a few others so it could stick down, and then covered the heart with the Stardust stickles. And that finishes off my card for today. I love how big and bold the middle of the sentiment stands out. It's so shiny and glittery, and I just really, really like it. And then you have the cute little squirrels celebrating and having heart balloons and bringing lots of little goodies. I had so much fun making this card. I love the huge sentiment dies from Lawn Fawn because they, they're just such a statement on a card. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I'll see you again next time. Until then, have an amazing day. Bye!